Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, following Shakur Stevenson's spectacular masterpiece performance against Jamel Herring. Um, I mean, really, really, really impressive win. Uh, but before we get into all that, uh, please like and subscribe. Share all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing. Uh, 3D Boxing. Uh, Logs Quick Hits comes out every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please, I'm sorry about that, knocking microphones over. Please subscribe to the other channel, um, Texas Boxing Scene, um, on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery, so it's near and to our heart. Uh, so please like uh, and subscribe to that channel as well. <clears throat> All right, like I said, Sakura Stevenson moved to 17 and 0. Uh, with the best one of his career by a mile, a 10th round TKO stop his victory of Jamal Herring. Um, whoever said that Herring was boring or Herring, I mean, uh, that Stevenson was boring or Stevenson was whatever, that was, <laughs> that, that solves all of that. That was a clinic. Um, he fought from the outside. He fought on the inside. Herring tried going backwards. Herring tried coming forward. Absolutely nothing worked for Harry outside of a couple of moments there in the fifth round. Um, besides that, I mean, Stevenson won every minute of the fight. Um, it was a master class. In a fight that most of us picked the, uh, Shakur Stevenson. Um, and I, I said I, I couldn't really find a path to victory for Herring, even though I wanted to find one. I would, really wasn't there. Um it really and it was better than I could have anticipated. I mean, obviously we knew about Steven, Stevenson's speed, his reflexes, um, but his ability to fight on the inside, to stand his ground and fight on the inside, this is going to be tough, right? Like I, I was one that said, you know, and it doesn't look like Tank is going to come back down to one thirty, so this isn't going to happen, and with the promotional issues, would probably wouldn't happen anyway. Um, but I, I said, yeah, he didn't have enough pop, and not good enough on the inside either to to keep. Davis at bay uh, to keep Davis honest and, and, and take Davis would steamroll Stevenson. I don't think that anymore. I don't think that anymore. I, I, I still would probably favor uh, Tank if they fought at 35 somewhere down the line. Um, but Stevenson is a really, really good fighter on the inside. And it was kind of like when Stephen Fulton did it with Angelo Leo. Like, he didn't really expect him to be that good on the inside. Um, but you know, I, I kind of felt like, okay, I, I saw the future of boxing, and it's this guy, you know, there's a few guys who I, I think of the future. Uh, Virgil Ortiz, Bam Rodriguez, Brandon Figueroa, Shakur Stevenson, Boots Enos. You know, and, and then you have guys who are already kind of there, like Tiafimo Lopez. Um, but, I mean, those are the names. Um, and, I mean, Stevenson right now, to me, after that win, and I obviously Tank Davis, but when I say Tank Davis and TV, well, they're not the future because they're the present. They're there. Um, I know they're not much different in age than Stevenson, um, but you know Stevenson hadn't really beaten anyone of note until yes, I mean he got one over Joey Gonzalez, Toki Khan and those aren't great names. Um, but that performance was great, and now he's got a legitimate win over a legitimate champion who, who reigned for two years, um, and it wasn't just a win; it was a beatdown. So. You know, where does Stevenson go from here? Um, you know, the, the the next fight they're going to make at 130, you would think, is, is um, Valdez. Fight doesn't do much for me. I think, um, you know, he, he destroys him. Uh, fights I'd like to see better is Oshaki Foster, Albert Bell. You know, uh, but the one fight, if I could make any fight, if I could wave a magic wand, the fight I'd want to see is Chris Colbert. Chris Colbert's phenomenal. 16-0, uh, Brooklyn, New York, Chris Colbert primetime. Um, I mean, he never – and I should have put his name on the future, guys. Um, Chris Colbert is, is, is phenomenal. Um, he just beat Nyambar, King Tug, 
he got wins over you know former world champ uh, Jezreel Corrales. He's got some Miguel Beltran. He's got a win over. He's got decent wins. Um, and, and he's kind of carried his power as his level of opposition has gotten better. Um, you know, again, and, and I tweeted about this earlier. Look, the best fight in the sport, the best fight in that weight class that can be made is primetime versus Shakur Stevenson. It's one of the best fights that can be made in boxing. That's how highly I think of both guys. Um, I, I think primetime, you know, when, when I – I'm sold on someone like I was sold on Usyk beating Joshua. I'm sold. I'm sold on Chris Colbert. I think Chris Colbert still wins that fight. But boy, is that a heck of a fight! It's not just the best fight that can be made in the weight class. It's one of the best fights that can be made in the entire sport. Uh, and because there are different promotional sides, it's not going to get made. They will not fight each other as long as they're on separate sides. There's not enough money in it um, for the promoters. So if you're a fight fan, you know. Thank Premier, thank PBC, thank Top Rank for not making this classic fight. You know, if, if this was, you know, years ago, they'd figure it out. They'd get it done, Madison Square Garden. You got Newark, New Jersey, Brooklyn, New York. Do it. Set up guard mecca of boxing. Two guys just entering their prime who have remarkable generational skills and talent. And you're not going to get it, but I don't want to. I, I don't want to distract. I don't want to talk about the negatives. Of course, Stevenson put together a masterclass performance. Uh, he states his claim as the best 130 pound in the world. Um, you know, if, if Warrington comes back and beats Laura, I still think you can get a Warrington uh, fight with Shakur Stevenson. Um, I think that could happen. Um, you know, uh, but I, the the next name you would think is Shakur Steven is is is, is Valdez and. and Again, you know, Valdez has one really good performance in his career. One. And it was a great performance against uh, Burchell. Great performance. But he needed to rally late to stop Valdez. He got a lucky stoppage in a fight. I thought he was losing to Adam Lopez. He may have gotten uh, lucky with a decision against Robeson uh, Concesio. So it's really just about Burchell fight in which you guys love him. Um, You know, other than that, I mean, you go through – Carmine Tomasoni, Scott Quigg broke his face. He won the fight. Uh, Genesis of Anthony gave him 12 rounds of, of warfare. Uh, Miguel Mariaga gave him 12 rounds of warfare, but he did drop him. I mean, he's good. I, I, he's just not, he's not in the same stratosphere as Shakur Stevenson. And it's no disrespect to him. But, like, Shakur Stevenson is, like, unique. Like, he's special. Like, he's a once-in-a-generation talent. Like, that's how good his skills are. Now this isn't right. I know everyone got so built up on a patrol fight, but what did he do after that? He looked like not that good against Concesio. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, obviously, you guys think that fight's going to be made next. That where we're going. Um, leave your thoughts. Give me your predictions. Do you guys disagree with me? Do you think Valdez has a good chance to win that fight? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share all forms of social media. Uh, 3D boxing, 3D boxing blog. Also, Texas boxing scene on YouTube. The other channel, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please subscribe to that channel as well. Help us get that monetized. Uh, it is October 24th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless you. To miss a tweet, post, story, or video, 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.